that has up, nothing it's, it's, to do with what is hip hop. That has everything to do with radio and business. That ain't got nothing to do with the culture. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the culture. This is one of those songs that's played at every event. No Clarence. Uh, you know what? Hey. I'm gonna go ahead and get this bitch popping, cause you know I was gone last oh, week. Oh, brother! Hi, <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> What's up, everybody? Episode already, already <laughs> starting off on that shit. <laughs> What's up, everybody, man? Welcome back to another episode of No Clears Podcast, man. It's just a blessing to be back on the podcast. Shout out to my wife for being on the episode last week. All right. And you hear that coughing in the background? That's your boy Jay, the light skinned assassin, the man I'm, behind I'm the of, video. The I'm mis- dying a slow, slow death. <laughs> Jay, uh, hope you're feeling better. Hope you're drinking some tea today, my brother. Okay. Um, That's coffee. Okay. What kind? I work nights. I work nights. <laughs> hey, you drink it black? You putting the cream in there? What you be doing? Nah, I don't drink my coffee black. That's disgusting. I drink well, it black. I don't do it. I drink it black. Yeah, you, you gotta like build caramel. a palate to drinking it black. I put caramel, caramel macchiato uh, creamer in there. Hey, Ooh, I know that's got a right. little flavor. Yeah, nah, yeah, man, I'm, flavor, I'm, I'm man. bitter. I'm bitter, man. Just straight black like my women. You feel me, Khadija? <laughs> my man, <laughs> how are you doing today? I'm we alive and well. That is, that is beautiful. <laughs> the queen is in the building. Queen of the podcast. You know what I'm saying? Please make sure you check out Dare to Talk. Okay, check out. The uh, latest episode of Dare to Talk podcast. Uh, yo, you've been really doing your thing with it. Hey, you know I've been saying? dropping. Hey, and you know? check out the YouTube video uh, she dropped. I've been commenting on all them shit. <laughs> My latest one was, was Sunday Vibes, so check yes. that out for sure. I've been hitting you with the double like. You, you automatically get two likes every time I, I see the Big facts. Videos. Big facts. Hey, automatically. <laughs> And just know you can account. get you can get Dare to Talk uh early. You can get it a week early on our Patreon. Go to uh patreon.com slash no clearance and for five dollars a month you'll get Dare to Talk a week early. Okay. Mm-hmm. And you'll get my uh my podcast, Technically Athletic. You'll get that a week early. Uh our latest episode of Technically Athletic is Technically Athletic is out now. Feature yeah, my boy tune Frankie. In, tune in. Y'all tune in to that part one is out now, man. So y'all go uh y'all go do that. Uh, and we got the movie show coming soon. Yeah, real Jay. soon, real, real, real soon. I watched uh, the Probably movie. We gonna be discussing a few months. A few months. I stayed up mm-hmm. last night to watch the movie for the next recording, and uh, my mind is blown once again. Uh, hey, it, it's leading the charge this year too with eleven nominations in the Oscars. So yeah, what movie was it. that? It's Everything, crazy. everywhere, all at once. Mm, got it. Yeah. Great movie. Yeah, man. Oh. Really good. Um, man, let's get into this. Let's get into this. Jay, can we start with Am I the Assholes today? Oh, if you want to start with them, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. I have them. Load them up. Get my All brain. Right. Get my brain working. Okay. I'm going to tell you right now, <laughs> I've only read one of these. This is the one I read. So... <clears throat> Am I the asshole? <laughs> yeah. Y'all, y'all, for those listening in on the on the audio, this man just had, had a seizure. He had a neck <laughs> hey, warm had, had a warm hey, neck you know, up to gotta, read. I ain't never yeah. seen nothing like this. Well, before. my my monitor, I gotta look up a little bit. So, oh, you know. okay, okay. Ah, I got okay. a little worried. Hey, no, no, I, had to, I have to look up a little bit. It is bright as fuck. That's a clip, right? <laughs> okay, that's like when you turn the volume down to park. <laughs> hey. <laughs> You really got a two like hold on, you good? <laughs> Alright, All right, here Jay. we go. I got here's here's this is the first one. Am I the asshole for telling my wife she was causing a scene and not defending her with my mom? Okay. I have a stepdaughter named Liz from my wife Kate's first marriage. Hmm. Me and Kate also have a daughter named Emma. Emma together. She's three. Liz doesn't call me dad and usually refers to me as Mr. My Last Name. I'll be honest, this that this bothered me a little, but this is what Liz feels comfortable with, so I never pushed it. We're not close, but we have a good relationship overall, and she loves Emma. We weren't able to get together with my side of the family over Christmas, so my family had a late Christmas slash New Year's Eve gathering, gathering where my mom gave her Christmas gifts for the kids. She got Emma some toys and Liz a sketch pad. She's an artist, so this gift is not random. Liz and Kate were disappointed, and Kate pulled my mom aside later 
to say she shouldn't have given the gift should have given the gifts out in front of everyone and Liz was hurt. Basically, my mom ended up replying she... <laughs> oh, shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is crazy. Basically, my mom ended up replying she went out of her way to get Liz a gift as as a grandma and when Liz doesn't even consider me as any kind of father figure. If Liz and Kate have such an issue with the gifts, they can go ask Liz's real father for a gift. Whew. Cold-blooded. <laughs> That's Cold-blooded. Why need- <laughs> That's why I need a minute. <laughs> Kate caused a bit of a scene and didn't take that comment well and said my mom was, has no respect for, for them. I tried to calm it down and I did tell my mom she was being a little harsh. I also told Kate she was causing a scene and blowing this up for no reason. She was the only one nitpicking about gifts and my mom responded to her. Kate later got angry with me for saying that and she said that I should have defended her. It's been a couple of weeks and she's still a little upset with me. I don't think I'm really in the wrong here and most of my family agree. My brother said I should post this on here and it's causing issues. So am I the asshole? Also, no. wait, wait. Also, here's a little bit extra, a little after oh, that. Shit. Liz's sketch pad was significantly less than the toys and things the other kids got. But it's something she used and not a random gift. Right. Uh, r- read the, the title again. Read that title one more time. Just want to make am sure. Am I the asshole for telling my wife she was causing a scene and not defending her with my mom? Okay. You are the asshole for telling your wife she was called the C. <laughs> now I'll say that. I'll say that. I but mean, also, it's weird. It's a tough situation. I just, I this is my thing. <laughs> his right? mom I, was ruthless. <laughs> I think no. I his mom was ruthless, but you also, I, I, you got to play devil's advocate, and you got to see it on both ends. I'm yeah. sure that this man, and this is a lot of shit we don't know, right? This man has a kid with you. I'm sure before he had that kid, he wanted to be with you. And he understood that it was you and your child. Correct? Yeah. Right? And it's his wife. They're married. Right. So I know when I married you, I married this child as well. I think the wife is in the wrong for not acknowledge, not checking the girl or the child for not watching how she talks to him. Mr. What? That is somebody who I'm going to go off on a limb and say is putting a roof over your head, food on your plate. Like there needs to be a level of, and I'm not saying she needs to call him dad, but I think I'm sure the grandmother's going based off the energy she gives the the man. So you're not giving me, oh, father figure energy. I, I see what you're saying, but I also feel like as the grandmother, right? Mm. (laughs) You have to be as like welcoming and inviting to, you know, these people are, you are trying to bring these people into your family per se. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, you know, it's just kind of messed up when you say, why don't she get a gift from her actual daddy? Like, that's why. No, that, that's for yeah, sure that's, fucked that's, up. Yeah, that was, that's You know what I'm saying? Up. Now, yeah. now I could probably see where the daughter coming from, even though, even though that's a very thoughtful gift. You like to draw. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's very I got you tough. a notepad. But she probably looking around like I'm the only one here that's technically like not blood. And I probably got the least ex- the like the the least expensive gift here. I <laughs> you mean know what, I'm what what kind of notepad is it? Because they got them sketchbooks that come with They do be having some good yeah. ones. But like so- so are we talking? Did she give me the crayon set with now, it? Like, what imagine if she just handed you a notebook gifts? and was like, "Merry Christmas!" Everybody else no. in, there, in that be talking My about that. What gifts could a three year old possibly get? A lot. To make, three year olds get a lot you, of gifts. I know, this, but but to make you feel like a notepad is enough. Bro, she's seventeen. Three year old. old Bro, three year olds be but having she's seventeen years old. But you gotta understand, she bro. Don't three want year toys old, and stuff. Three year olds be having gifts, so many gifts, it take over the whole the whole daggone room. I yeah. think my thing is it I think what Tyler's trying to get at is like there is enough for you to feel like this is significance as far as like, okay, it's not a lot. Cause I think the older you get, it's not even about the quantity. It's yeah. about the quality at that point. So yeah. I'm seeing a notebook. Oh, what if it was like a probably it was probably a cheap sketchbook too? Like you said she liked to draw, right? So if yeah, anything, yeah. it's like give me the notebook and give me a whole ass set. Like give me, yeah, give me give the me a set, set with exactly, yeah, with stuff. or like give me some like the sketch pencils and crayons and yeah, shit. It's like oh, here, now I will say this. Sketchbook. I will say this. It depends if that grandmama black 
and them kids coming real disrespectful, you can't expect nothing less than hey, what she but- said. Also, also, you can't expect the grandma. You can't expect the grandma to know to get all the bells and whistles when you're interested. That's in true. They don't that's do. a fact. And, and now, so like, and I say this: Shorty's seventeen. You gotta relax. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Well. They too. They too old to be upset about that. Unless they're like seeing it, like unless they know it's a cheap ass sketchbook, like two dollars. And everyone got. Something's like, telling me it wasn't, but go no, ahead. No, no, no. Some telling me it, it wasn't too, but like still, like if you know this is like a $1 sketchbook and everyone got mm-hmm. all these gifts, it's like, damn, you could have given me a couple. You could have given me 10 if they a dollar. <laughs> if they a dollar, you could have spent $10 on it. You could have spent $10. I don't know. I, I do feel like, I do feel like, um, number one, now, now when the, when grandma went off, did he say he talked to his mama and was like, ma? You 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 cold. He did say he he said he did he, say yeah. He told he his ch- mom that he, was a little harsh. Yeah, he told his mom that was harsh. My now to is, tell I, your I, wife I, to calm down is a little wild because it's like you got to yeah, understand that you, that's her child. But I need to know how how did you say yeah. this? Was it a one on one or was it a whole group adjustment? I need like, to know also, how this was given. Was she really like going off like what the blah, 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 acting a fool acting a fool like going crazy or was she just like going back and forth? But here's See, the these thing. are hard. This is something I've learned. This is something I, I I had to learn in the past. I don't got to worry about that mm-hmm. no more. Before you bring your girl, or your lady, mm-hmm. into your mama's place, you gotta have a game plan. You gotta you gotta have some type of strategy. Be like, look, no matter what, go in there, just back me up. Or I got you. Just we just gotta mm-hmm. be careful. Some things you just can't and can't do. Is we at her crib? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. But you, I feel like I don't, if there wasn't no like, if she was really upset, she should have know. Says, waited and said something. To yeah. him after the fact, agreed. But at the same time, you know, if it's already going, it's, you Boy. Gotta ride, he's got he's got to ride the wave. He's got to ride the wave. You just got to check on both of them. Yeah, check. But you don't say you don't say to your lady like, "Hey, calm down." Yeah, especially you, once you married. If you that's your girlfriend, side, you like, if that's hey, your girlfriend. Yeah. You might be able to get right. away with that. Like, hey, yo, chill. That's my mama. But when you're married, it's like, hey, bro, that needs just, to be. Yeah. Y'all just go we separate need- ways. It's important yeah. to look like y'all a need, united front. Yeah, y'all exactly. Need, hey, y'all need to separate. Exactly. I will speak to you guys individually. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, hey, no, exactly. but I think that's the, the appropriate response, though. Yeah, no, for real, because you can't be like, "Oh, calm down, ma, ma, calm down," and then your mom's gonna be like, "I'm your mother." But you can. But and you then, can. No, you're a grown ass man. Nope, you can. True. No, no, yeah, but you, you wait. But you can't be that to your wife. Babe, calm, calm down. Like in that situation, you, he's ca- you can't tell, tell your wife. Down. You can't tell your let wife. Me, calm let, down, let, but hold you on. Can't tell your let mama. me, let me, let me go ahead and say something. You shouldn't tell no grown person to calm down or relax. That's that is fair. not. That's that Very is going true. to do the opposite thing. It's like oh, I'm fine. So now, oh, now I'm not really. Now they're gonna take it up a notch because now you're naming their emotions. Can you well, help was, the brothers out? Can you help the brothers the, out real quick? Hey, what is a better wording for? Have, I'm gonna ask the black woman. Let me ask the black woman. What is a better I wording? I do this for a job. This is my everyday job. It Let always gotta be the, the Jalen show. <laughs> I'm on here with fucking two Beyonces. I'm fighting for my life here. Go I'm ahead, trying to put Tyler. you on. Let me ask yeah. the black woman. Black Wait. woman, queen. Mm. <laughs> what would be a better wording as a black man to say, hey? You kind of, you know, a little hostile, <laughs> right? I would say, but this is my thing, and I think Jalen said it. Yo, let me come talk to you for a second, right? Yeah. Okay. Because I think when you, especially when somebody's like on the rise of like getting there, you telling them to relax. Yo, relax, calm down. Oh, I wasn't even up. You know what I mean? So yeah. now uh-huh. it kind of like tells somebody like, oh, they think you hot. It's like, oh, I'm gonna show them I'm hot, and, and, and it does. Uh-huh. The adverse thing. It works with kids all the time. Like, yo, let me chat for you. In, that si- in situations like that, hey, it's best to come in low. <laughs> if someone's screaming and yelling at you, right? Mm-hmm. You don't raise your voice. Nope. You talk to them mm-hmm. because now they're screaming at somebody who's talking. It's a it's a de escalation tactic. Then, isn't that what I just said? That is what you said. Okay, I just wanted to be no, sure. That is what you said. I was just I was just I'm agreeing with you. That's all you got to do. Mm-hmm. You just got to talk to them, and if they come in hot. It can't stay high. If you That's come in high, most it, arguments. That, I mean, if y'all both barking and yeah. 
That shit ain't never if, gonna go nowhere. If you come in, if you come in talking, you could bring it up. Mm, mm, mm. And you, but but you, but if you, but you can bring it back down. But when you bring it up, it got to be purposeful. You can't yeah, just be bringing exactly. that shit up to just yell. Exactly. But exactly. I said to not yell. What is exactly. wrong with you? Exactly. Chill. Yeah. Exactly. But I will mm-hmm. say this: if there's anybody you could say, you got to chill. Say that to your mama. She gonna love you regardless. But your wife, <laughs> you gotta go home with that woman. <laughs> uh, I'm, gotta, I'm gonna be honest. You gotta lay your head next to that woman. You gotta lay your head next to this person. Don't say that I'm to I'm gonna be your honest. Wife. I'm not gonna say that that's rated E. That's not for everybody. If you know your mama, <laughs> move yeah. accordingly. Because you're gonna have somebody out here get cut up, put in the river. in the head with a cast mm-hmm. iron pan so quick. Seeing fucking, what are that? Birds and butterflies and shit. Mm. Proceed with caution. <laughs> Yeah. Not birds and butterflies. Yeah, birds and butterflies. Fuck around. <laughs> birds and butterflies. Yeah, no, nah, that's a crazy situation, man. Oh, oh. shit. That's too funny. Oh, my God. Okay, what was yeah, the second one? Weird. Yeah, let's get to the next one. My foot is uh, okay, hold on. Let's I feel like the, the second one. one was better. Well, funner. Okay. Let's see. I didn't read this one, so. <clears throat> uh, am I the asshole for telling my fiance that, the, that he needs to pick a new best man? My fiance, Ke- Kevin, and I... Had a initially planned to get married a few years ago, and due to the fact that the world was falling apart, we postponed it until things calmed down and our family felt safer at a big event. We've now set a date for this coming August, and as we get closer, more and more thoughts keep coming to me about how it should go. My biggest issue is that Kevin's best man is no longer his best man and is now his best woman. Oh. Whoa. 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 <laughs> No. I didn't know it was going this I way. Didn't okay. see this I didn't see this coming. Hold on. Back, back that up. <laughs> My biggest issue is that Kevin's best man is no longer his best man. It is now his best woman. This is very okay. interesting. Yeah. Very okay, interesting. Okay. Kevin and Amy have been friends for a little over a decade. And when they mm. first met until two years ago when our wedding was supposed to happen, Amy identified as a man. Mm, Kevin okay. and Amy have always had a very close, almost sibling-like fr- relationship. Kevin, Kevin had been kicked out of his mom's house at 17 and met Amy at work shortly after. She's been very close with him, and he's told me, told me multiple times that she is the closest thing he has to any family. Initially, Amy had planned to not come out, of, out to Kevin until after the wedding, but after finding out that the wedding was going to be delayed, she came out to him. Without consulting me, Kevin told her that he was fine with all that and that it was, if she was at, sta- at a stage where she liked to wear a dress when our wedding happened, that he would find her a dress that matched the colors he had for the groomsmen. Mm-hmm. Amy had been medically transitioning for about a year or less now, and Kevin told me that we need to find her a dress. I don't have a problem with Amy, and I understand how close she is to Kevin, but our wedding is largely for my very traditional family. Kevin has ooh. ooh. Kevin has often said that this wedding isn't that important to him and that the only reason he's doing it is because it's important to me and my family. I know that my family would have a lot of issues with Amy, which I'm sure would bring a lot of unwanted or outright rude attention towards her. For this reason, I've asked my fiance to choose someone else to be his best man and request that Amy attend it as just a guest. This this has led to a large fight between the two of us with Kevin threatening to cancel the wedding if Amy can't be part of the wedding party because he wants someone from from his family in it. I'm I'm trying to get him to understand the issues this will cause, but I'm not sure if he gets it. Am I the asshole? Yeah, All she right, an Tyler, asshole. I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm say, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to get on the mic. Tyler got on the mic for the last one. I I will say... I think that she's the asshole in this situation. I think that when somebody has, in my, and this is my opinion, I think when somebody has decided to transition, that's not like a light decision, right? And so this person probably was already living this life of a lie, right? For the sake of like appeasing society. And so finally they're like living their truth and now you're going to like, high key shame them for that because of what you think other people might think. And I think, and this is not to say, I think when somebody makes a decision to transition, they have now foregone somebody's opinion, like validating them. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like you're no longer like, no, I'm doing this for myself and what I is will make me feel good about myself. So I think it's okay to give them a heads up of like, 
hey, you know, my family's traditional um, or whatever, just letting you know things mm-hmm. are going to stay the same. But I just want to let you know that when you walk in there, just be mentally prepared for like the stairs and shits like that. I think that's a different conversation versus like, oh, no, you just got to go as a guest. What then changes? Because yeah. they're still in that space. So I, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, it's not mm. a better solution. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I think that's a terrible. It it it, it sounds like she just don't want to have the have to deal with it. Yeah. And it has nothing to do with with Amy, the nope. girl. Cuz she's like she tried cuz she even said that like, "Oh, I don't want her to go through that." And she going to go through it either way if she if she attend the wedding. So it don't matter. Let us stand up there. Make, make it easier. At least people know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. People yeah, see I it. feel like um first off, wife I mean, your wife should tell her side of the family ahead of time anyway. Or at least tell the mama yeah. she's going to tell the rest of the family. You know what I'm saying? For uh, sure. But also, like, dog, my my wife had a male on her side. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's people do this. like All the time. I, yeah. I, like, like, I understand that it's a little slightly different situation, but it's the same. Yeah. Like, it is what it is, bro. Like, that exactly. is family to him. That is family to your to your husband, like. I don't it's basically honestly his sister. Who, right. Exactly. It's his sister. <laughs> exactly. And in. plus and plus a lot you know what? A lot of women gotta understand this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of a lot of, No, listen, listen. No, uh, listen. <laughs> let me let me say something. He go, he gonna say some bullshit. <laughs> let me say something. Because a lot of women don't be expecting uh the man to be somewhat involved in wedding planning and shit. But we be wanting we be wanting some <laughs> things in there for us, okay? We be wanting no. some things. Yeah, no, we do. So let me be a part of this process. I want <laughs> okay? some shit. I want some shit. Okay. I want an arch or something. We we try to do arch. better. I want to say. I want to say. I want to say. No, I, I want to arch on the on the. Island. I want to make sure the flowers are a certain color. We we got to make sure this stuff. I like blue too, but I want exactly a type of blue. We don't just want to pick the DJ. I don't just want to pick the DJ. I, I got even I like got more talents. I got personally. skills. I don't even personally want to be the one to pick the DJ. I want to pick the flowers. <laughs> I hate you so much. Let me pick the runner. Let me I pick the pick, runner. Let That's me it. pick the center. No, pieces. because you let would get you would pieces. pick white instead of ivory. You don't even know the difference between white and ivory. See, but I'm gonna speed ivory. up the process, right? If you go ahead and let me do something, all right, you're gonna say it wrong. White and, ivory? and then you ivory is like a, a a cream. It's like a, a um, No, it's a difference. There's a difference. Uh, I gotta I gotta but what I do I is, know, you know, what I'm even though I'm wrong, blind. Khadija, I eliminate options at a faster rate. Oh, yeah. brother, Tyler, you a fool. You know why you <laughs> he had that on his spirit because me and Tyler just talked about this before the show, Casey. I was telling Tyler like, yo, the videos where men always be like, you know, one thing what women need to understand. <laughs> <laughs> and the nigga, the nigga subconsciously said it. No. But I wasn't saying it for no toxic stuff. I'm just trying to let them know. Like, we want to be part of that process. That's all uh, I'm saying. We do. Okay, you want to be invited to the tea but party. At the You're end good. of the day, if whoever's going to be on my side beside me, you got to accept it. It means something. I, that's that's I who's going to be that's, that's besides me. I think it's, that's the fucked up part about it. I think that's what makes her asshole is like, it's not like he got buku family. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, Kicked out of your mother's house, I can only imagine mm-hmm. like the toxic energy in that on yeah. its own. So this is my like my piece. I need you to give me my piece. Yeah. And like if your family's not cool with it, that's fine. Yeah. But something's telling me Shorty got a lot of these motherfuckers coming through. Exactly. So if some of them drop through, that's less plates for you to pay for, a player. Hey, you know? Hey. <laughs> you ain't lying. Save me save me some money. At the end of okay. The day. But those lying, are the bro. M out of assholes for the week. Yay. I Those had nice. better ones, but I lost them. I don't know what happened to them. They just disappeared. <laughs> mm. Jalen, um, why I oughta? Next week. I mean, <laughs> me and Jada worked on this for like an hour yesterday. It was great. We had fun. So, uh, it's cracking up. This episode is brought to you by the good people at No Clearance. All right. Go to noclearancepod.com slash shop. We have merchandise for you to wear. Please support the brand. Okay, we got our new clearance collection. All right, with the Defy the Trans Be the Standard shirts, as well as the No Clearance coll- uh, shirt and the Superior No Clearance shirt with the dad hats. 
Dad hats are selling big. Okay. So please make sure you go to noclearancepod.com slash shop. Buy you some merch to support the podcast so we can get bigger and better every week. Thank you. Back to the show. For those who don't know, we actually have two group chats. So we have, of course, our, our iMessage group chat. And then we got our Instagram, No Clearance Host group chat. And uh, Jay. We're official and shit. We, we yeah. official. We be talking to each other, you know, outside Talk of the shit. podcast. Jay, uh, was it Jay's? Did you put the uh, TV dads? Um, real on the the post. I think so. I think it was chat. me. I be forgetting who be said that putting what and where. I know I put one of those in here, so not too much. So I don't know. I, I ain't trying. Know. Okay, you know what? Indonesia. In the chat, there was a post saying that uh, I forget the brother's name, but Moesha's father, Moesha's Frank stepfather, Mitchell. Frank Mitchell. No, no that was What's her the... father. That was her blood daddy. That was. Oh, you're right. My bad. My bad. My bad. Moesha's father, Frank Mitchell, was the worst. Black TV dad in M Black the, TV dad history. O to the, um, to the, how we shall. Okay, Khadija, do you do <laughs> first? Do you agree with this statement? And if not, who is your? Who do you think is the worst TV dad? Uh, I don't think that's the worst. I think the worst is. Can I get a sound effect? Can I wait, get a wait, dun dun? Uh, let's, let's say who the worst is. You don't agree? Shoot. I don't agree. I think there's worse out there. I feel like. Well, I can you like can you the, tell me why you don't agree with this statement? Because I mean, be, and I hate to say it like this, but let's let's keep it a book. When we think about black fathers, I don't really know. I got to do a lot of thinking because yeah, I didn't have one of those. But <laughs> when I think about a black dad, the role, the job was to get food on the table, right? Yeah, roof roof over your head. Yeah. Really just a protector and a provider, right? Moesha's dad, the, the girl was eating, right? Oh, she was eating well. She, she was well. living in a, ni a nice little house, right? Yeah. Yes, you know, indeed. A upstairs and a downstairs, and I think a basement. Fuck around. It might have been a basement. Might have okay. just, I don't think there was a basement. I don't think there was a um, basement. I wouldn't put it over the head. I, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't put it over the head. I think I there think was. I they have many basements. At, I don't know. I don't remember a basement. It sounds like Jalen's hating. I I'm think that no, I there is a the, basement. The kitchen had a swinging door. They this, had a this basement. This is too. This is too technical. Yeah, yeah. They, the, if the the kitchen had a, a swinging nice, door. They had a basement. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm yeah. sorry. I got stuck on. It. I couldn't uh, remember it. So that we're getting food, shelter. The girl was clothed, right? Yeah. I ain't never see her in no rags. No rags. No rags. He didn't kill the girl. Unfortunately, you know, he didn't touch the girl. Like. He covered the bases. And he gave her independence. Boom. Which is very difficult to do as a he father never, for your I, From what I recall, he never put her in harm's way. Never. She put herself in harm's way many a times. Many hey, a times. Yo, she sure did. Just saying. Crazy ass Q. I thoroughly believe Moesha might have been the worst TV daughter. But that's me. <laughs> but that's a se and that's a separate conversation. Hey, she ain't never listened to nobody. No, not a fucking so. <laughs> no, but. But her father was like, you want to learn that lesson on your own? Go on ahead. I'll be right here, baby. <laughs> I'll be, yes, exactly. I'll be right here to catch you when you fall. But you're going to get a punishment. I will just tell you that. Oh, you're grounded for the month. But. Oh, and that's the other thing. Gave her punishment. I think that's a good parent. When you balance your kid out, it's not just the yes show. You got to make sure, okay, I'm going to let you do that. But no. That phone is mine for the next two months. But go and ahead. We forget. We forget this man lost his wife, remarried, and trying to bring this woman, trying yeah. to bring his new wife, you know, acclimate her into the family. To, and you, into you, his you, badass daughter who don't live. Oh, <laughs> man. Hey, some would say, though, that he was, oh, he never, like, supported Moesha and always took the side. And she and Moesha was basically the mother until she they brought D around and now they now they have this power this the struggle for power. I could I could definitely because see he that. leaned really on Moesha to to fill the role of the mother and then brought mm -hmm. D in and then that was a confused that was a, sit, a confusing situation. I see that. That's that's fair. But that's once fair, again, but that's not nothing out of the ordinary. That is a good dad problem. By the way, <laughs> by the so? way. We're not going to sit here and act like he never 
try to communicate with Moesha what we he's going through. We also ain't gonna through. sit here and, and try to act like he's the best father. We're not he's, saying he's number saying, one, <laughs> but we're not saying say he's, he's number last. <laughs> so this brings us to the question. Who is the worst TV dad? Black TV dad. I'm gonna say my last. Go ahead. Because mm. uh, I'm you know I'm gonna hit him up style. Oh, Y'all gonna know, be like, oh, my shit. worst one is Flex Alexander. Oh, shit. He was a bad dad. <laughs> but he got it's... better. But he, he got... got better. Hey, he the amount of this nigga is the definition of a skeezer chaser. He did. He get had better. nothing but skeezers coming he got out better. that house. <laughs> no, and I give you that. Like the beginning, it was rocky. It was very yeah. touching. Yeah, it was rough. But he got rough. better. He did. He get showed better. promise. It he was showed promise. That was the reason for the show, but you know. Oh boy, um, oh boy was terrible. Oh, Pam was his wife, his ex wife. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I, shout out good to ex-wife. Pam, man. Good, yeah, that's good, good ex-wife. ex-wife. That's a good ex-wife. <laughs> who, um, who, who y'all I'm got? A, I'm a, I'm a, <laughs> shout out to my wife for this one. But she said, <laughs> Will Smith father. <laughs> no, Wait, no, on, she, she, <laughs> on which one? Oh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. The nigga had the one episode. <laughs> oh. That's, that ain't shit. I, <laughs> I cried that episode. That was so fucked up. <laughs> How come he don't love me? How come he don't love me? Why don't love me, Uncle Phil? Wait, wait, wait till you see uh, Marlon Wayne's portrayal of that in Bel Air. <laughs> Marlon Wayne's he like, plays you know your father? You're... Yeah, Marlon Wayne's. He's like, you know your mother. She always had to hold me up. Bitch always try to hold me down. <laughs> It was like, yo, what's up, nigga? Don't be talking about my mama like that. They about to square up. You know, who the fuck are you doing, little nigga? It was mad money. Marlon Wayans is making his voice mad deep. Oh, God. I'm dead. On a, in another note, I think Oscar Proud. I know it's a cartoon, but I think Oscar Proud was probably, probably oh, the Proud worst was a black terrible father. My father. thing, terrible father didn't give a shit. Do you feel oh. me? He was just worried about them snacks, you know how, boy. Them nasty ass snacks. Them nasty, nasty snacks. Nasty ass snacks. Nasty ass snacks. And to make him good, his yeah. mama had to put her foot in it. You, you know how we know they nasty? <laughs> because they, nobody ever had a real life Oscar Proud snack, and we all know they nasty. The oh, monkeys Uts was chips. falling out. No, no, no. Uts chips. That's that's the Oscar Proud shit. Oh, I the, like Uts. Oh, fuck. I'm so sorry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, you don't like Uts? Uts? Nah. Yeah, I could eat some mm-hmm. Uts. Whoa, you telling me you'd rather eat Lays than a nice... Yes. Uts chip. Uh, this is the what is for going on yep. in this <laughs> world? Yep. This, this is a Lays be too day. salty. Lays be too salty. No. It's too thin. It's not the perfect crunch. So, what is going no. on? This, this is a discussion for I, another day. Yeah, we could go KC, in on that. Who, but who you got is your worst black TV dad? My worst black TV dad is Kanan from Power. Wow. Oh. <laughs> he fucking killed. He killed his son. Nigga said ra. Like, huh? <laughs> the, you know why he, you know, I was, you I have very a, true. you know why this he don't correct. count? You know, I don't think he count. Why? He, oh, you he, stuttering. He killed, he killed that man and then it act like he never had a son again. <laughs> He's never been a father. A horrible to him, father. To him, he was never father. a father. <laughs> horrible father. I think I won. I won. Uh, yeah. Hands down. Yeah, I got it. No, I got no, it. Hands down. No, no. Kate is a terrible father. I didn't even watch the Ter- show. And I know I mean, he's a bad father. Yeah, the hey, motherfucker key, never gave a fuck. Uh, the only person good, he cared Ghost, about was Ghost wasn't Ghost wasn't that great himself. He wasn't Ghost either. Ghost was a good father. You know why Ghost was a good father? Like you said, Khadija, he provided a home. Oh, that's a valid. nice ass home. And let's take it up a notch. The quality, private, yeah, the quality of they shit was he provided. Private school. Hmm. The kids didn't start. He didn't start being a bad father until he started dating that that Colombian. Until he started woman. cheating on his wife. Until he started cheating on his mom. Go figure. Mm. That's the only time he gave a bad father. But before that, he was perfectly That's why he cheated on the black woman. Just and like, even all fall and down. even and even when he was cheating, he still was trying to be in the kids' lives. Yeah. They would have a share in custody. He was there. Mm. You are right. Tariq Kanan. just a spoiled little bitch. Fuck Tariq. That's why I never watched that dumb ass show. Fuck how it goes. Tariq's a little bitch ass nigga. How you gonna make me support this guy? And this guy's a bitch. Wow. That, that, like that, say, hey, that bitch I was even, I don't even like the actor because of this. Hey, I'm not gonna hold you. He he got a cocky. Something. He a cocky little ass. I hate him. 
That's a, that's a prime example of that gentle parenting, right? That shit ain't for everybody. Some of these kids need a little... Lil Kim, Lil Kim need to do a better job raising him in, in power because he was spoiled. Mm. I couldn't think of her name. What's her name? Yeah. Lori Naughton. She needs yeah. to do a better job. Mm. I just want to say this was not a competition, but I won. <laughs> Speaking of worst black Fair. TV children, fucking Tariq's little ass. <laughs> him and Moesha could have made him a... Moesha. <laughs> Him and Moesha, if him and Moesha had a baby, they have fucking the say, Satan himself. Oh my God. Hey, never <laughs> fucking listen. <laughs> now, question. Do the opposite see, of what you said. If you saw uh, 50 Cent mm-hmm. in real life, would you think Kanan or do you think that's 50? 50. I'm going to be honest. If I see 50, uh, I'm like, many men. Hey, where's <laughs> where's the the Bobby? Bobby? Hey, blood in my eyes. Yeah. I'm seeing oh, 50. Oh, man. I'm seeing 50 for sure. Honestly, to be honest, I didn't even know the nigga's name was Kaden in the show. I just be like, oh, 50 Cent. Well, yeah, that's fair. I that's, ain't going that, that, If you didn't know, the, if you just watch the show, you'd be like, oh, that's 50 Cent. Oh, 50 Cent's evil in this. Okay, that's valid. Mm, I guess. This episode is brought to you by Canva. Canva is a graphic design platform used to create social media graphics, presentations, posters, documents, and other visual content. The app includes templates for users to use to design whatever they want for the free. The platform is free and free to use, but also offers a paid subscription, Canva Pro, which will unlock an even larger library of graphics, images, templates, and videos to add to your designs. So please tap the link in the description and get started. What? Uh, so what actor or actress would you see in real life and be like, oh, that's that, that's that nigga, like that's the villain? <laughs> What's the motherfucker you see in real life? Be like, I'm not fucking with him. Or oh, the motherfucker who shit. played Candyman? Oh, hell uh, no! I'm Tony crossing Todd? the street. Yeah, I'm crossing the street. Fuck out of here. You're good. <laughs> I, I, I think I'd want to say hello to him. Nah, that nigga played that shit too well. Candyman wasn't that scary of a movie. Mm. Have you watched it as an adult? He ain't even mm. in it. He barely in it. No, I think that's <laughs> the shit that make it scarier. You know what I mean? When the motherfucker don't... see, uh. Michael Myers, I don't think that nigga's scary because he was in every fucking damn near scene. But yeah. I think when a motherfucker is like very rarely there and it's like shadows and nah, you're good. He wasn't I'm even a shadow. No. He just his voice. Um, it was just and that's not scary, scary for you? <laughs> nah, it wasn't really. The nah, nigga that played the nigga that Karen. played Pinky. That's All the nigga right. that played Stop, Pinky. Knock it off. Um, knock it off. <laughs> The nigga that played Pinky in Next Friday. Oh, oh, like, uh, Clifton Powell. <laughs> yo, yo, he played. Say it again. Say something he, again. I'm, he I, played. Ow. <laughs> ow, I wish you could. Ow. <laughs> Say something again. Yo, I swear. <laughs> Say it again. Say it again. <laughs> Stop talking. Shut up. Shut up. Where is your hey. cousin? Wait, he was like, what he was like, nigga. <laughs> I hate y'all. <laughs> Say it again. <laughs> I hate y'all so much. Girl, get in this car. You know I ain't got no insurance. When he was in Menace to Society, me and a yeah. He a legend, man, but it, you would just think he up to something. If I see him in real life, I'm like, oh, this nigga's up to something. Nah. <laughs> mine so is, I, I, tell you, I tell you who mine is. The dude, I don't know his name. But a black dude from Men's to Society, uh, the cop, you know you fucked up, right? Oh, snap. What's his name? You know you fucked Yo, up, right? I don't know. But that's that the only is... thing I know him from. He's been a, he was in mad shit. He was in he was in mad shit back then back in the nineties and the eighties, I guess. He yeah, directed he was, sister that, act. That's a that's a legendary that's a legendary scene right there. <laughs> yeah. Yo, you know you oh, is it eyes. Bill? It Bill Duke. Is that his name? Yeah, up, Bill man. Duke. Bill Duke. Man, yeah, that's a. Li- is he still alive? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I swear, I keep, I stay thinking people dead. Drew be like, you just stay putting niggas in the grave. Yeah, yeah stop killing <laughs> niggas <know>. off. <laughs> you know, he, he, <laughs> he directed. Yeah, he's still alive. He's seventy nine. <laughs> he's, he's like, like RIP to that dude. nigga. Like, damn, <laughs> how you already? God damn. Hey, he directed <laughs> Sister Act 2. 
Hey. Oh. I hey. Know that. I'm not going to hold hey. you. Hey. Sister hey. Act 1 is better. Whoa. All right, get off the... Oh, wow, whoa, whoa. Whoa. You don't... Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, is that the one? Whoa, 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 whoa. Sister Act 2 with Lauren Hill? Oh, that's the one with Lauren Hill? Why do yeah. I always get those two confused? I, I thought that know. was Sister Act 1. No. no, no, no. Sister Act 2 is what With a little skinny here. black boy start singing and fucking the shit up? Yeah, yeah. that's Sister yeah, Act that's two. two. That's two? Yes, that's yeah, two. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Ooh, okay. Just... <laughs> okay, no, no, no. I like that one, that one, that one. That's why oh, they got to bring them back. That's why they got to bring them yeah. back. Oh, she, okay. That's how she already knows all of them. Yes. That's that just that the one that all... everyone's seen. Yeah, the first one. I don't one, even remember one then. The first one. one she on, she is, on the run from the mob. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that. It's not that a was, musical, right? Oh, no, no, no. I, I it kind of is. Oh, I don't know. But is. not as... Okay, oh, yeah. it's musical, but not as good. Exactly. It's not black. Exactly. It's not a black musical. It's not... Yeah, Boom. yeah, yeah. It's real... You know, it's still a little funky, but it ain't black yeah. gospel. It ain't gospel. It's yeah. Christian music. You the know second one is definitely... Yeah. It's not Oh Happy... It's not mm, Oh Happy this Day. This is niggas. This is niggas, yeah. <laughs> it's, not, it's, it's not Oh Happy Day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh Happy Day... Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. We hit that fa la 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 la. I was like, yeah. La 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 la. (laughs) Oh, I could do this forever. (laughs) We could have sang the whole thing, but we're not Uh, going to. Because we don't want Jay to get too, too. Yeah, we don't want him to get (laughs) FOMO. Yeah. I I could sing. Oh, man. I choose not to. Hey, man. I could sing. I have an entertainer. I am an entertainer. I am Beyonce. Sasha Fierce? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I Speaking didn't of music, Beyonce man, uh, I was watching a, uh, shout out to Earn Your Leisure. I was watching an interview with Irv Gotti. And at the, uh, Irv. It was near the end. <clears throat> Irv Gotti said, Made You Look by Nas, the greatest hip hop song of all time. Mm. He was saying, if Aliens came down to Earth and was like, what is this hip hop? And they had to, you had to play one song. He'd play "Made You Look" because of the the sample, the the beat breaks. It just was like real hip hop type stuff. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, so I ask you, I ask you all, what do you think is uh, greatest hip hop song of all time? Go ahead, Jay. What I think the greatest hip hop song of all time is <laughs> yes, yes, sir. "Hypnotized" by Biggie. Hmm, that's the greatest song ever. You know why I say this? If aliens were to come down from space and you were to play a song that you hear every day, that you've heard every day your whole life, and they were like, oh, what's what's this hip hop? You'd play that song. You'd play Hypnotize. You think Hypnotize. Hypnotize would, hypnotize would come on the radio <clears throat> and they'd you, ask, what is this? And you would have to. And that's how. Okay, you know, I will say, you, you I could say. He has a valid point because that song, there's certain, you know how people say smells and song, sounds and songs like mm-hmm. will trigger a memory. I don't know. And this is, this will kind of give you a picture of like what kind of daycare I went to, but you know how you get picked up in the vans. I remember the bus driver or the van driver playing that song. So every time I hear it, I think of being in a car seat in the van, like go on my way to daycare. Me too. I, I was gonna say that that's that's yeah. crazy. We got the same okay. van driver. <laughs> we probably did. Because <laughs> I was like, whoa, 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 me too. This is, sounds real familiar. <laughs> he would drop me off and come pick you up. <laughs> so you you telling me you think hypnotized is like oh time to get his Obama hands going? Yeah, hip hop. Hypnotized, yes. If you were. It is what first of all, first of all, first of all, I'm gonna tell you number one, it's a it's like an R and B hook, so it's kind of you kind of got to kick it out to begin with. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do What's this technicality you talking about that Tyler? you never mentioned before until now? It got an R and B hook, so it disqualifies it. Are you from serious? being like a fully hip hop song? Can't you see? Sometimes they love to hypnotize me. It's the and chorus. Every love song love got a chorus. Dog. All right. When we talk, every song okay, got when a we chorus. Talk, no, no. All right. Yeah, that's fair. But mm. when we talk, I'm talking. You, you telling me you can't tell me that's like this feels 100 percent like just straight hip hop. Especially if we comparing it to made you look. Mm. 
You know what I'm saying? He made you look has a has a has a chorus. They shoot it. Nah, I made you look. You a slave to a page in my rhyme book. Yeah, Motherfucker just wanted to show up. He just wanted to. Ain't nobody showing up. Yeah, I'm just like, trying to what, tell you. What do you want me to say, then, Tyler? What do you want me to say, Tyler? The hip, the hop, the hip, the hip hop. What the fuck you want me to say? Hey, <laughs> something else besides no, hypnotize. Hypnotize. hypnotize, hypnotize. Every time Biggie I think got of hip hop, so every every time when I think of hip hop, uh, I think of hypnotize. What I think? Casey, what? Casey, what you think? Uh, I'm going to have to go with Jigga. Um, the, the song I'm picking is Hard Not Life. Now, hear me out. Hear me out. Because it sounds like you're going to come to me with some technicality. And I want you to take he that. with a little white girl. Yeah, he but. with a little white girl. That's Tyler. <laughs> but this is, I, I want you to think, you got to think big. He sampled Annie, but he also made it so that any rapper can sample Annie and not have to worry about shit. So that song, I feel like, is some shit that really, in my mind, there's a lot of songs that took Jay-Z to the top, but you cannot say that that's not a big part of his catalog. Also, Jay-Z is a big, he's a big dog. And I feel like when we talk about Nas, you automatically, in your mind, whether you say it verbally or you just think it, you think of Jay-Z. And so I feel like the best counterpart to Nas is Jay-Z. And I think that song, that song is it. That song, you close your eyes, that's hip-hop. You visualize the mm. struggle. You know what I mean? He's giving you a mental picture of what hip-hop is. Yeah. I, uh, that is a good choice. That is, that is a good choice. I got to give you that one. That mm-hmm. is a good choice. I got to give you that one. You I know still what I'm saying? I still think hypnotize is more better. I feel like hypnotize is on the same level as that. When you think of hip-hop, uh, another, that's another beat you think of, I feel like. Okay, I'll give you that. I'm like their intros I'm, to those I'm songs a, a, are, are infamous. Yeah, very infamous. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. What are you going to say? Out, I'm going to throw out something that uh, is, is a little very off, and then I'm oh, going to give you something fuck. that's back to back to center. Okay. Um, <laughs> what, is he about, what are you about to say? <laughs> March Madness about future. <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely. Hey, There's no fucking way. That's another iconic intro. No. That's no. another song that when you hear that um, song, you know you know that it's about to be a rap song. Oh no! There's some when, songs when March Madness <laughs> comes. The oh. fact I think every time I think of that song, I think that's his politically like charged song, and it's like two words he says about <laughs> <Yo>. police brutality. <laughs> like get the fuck out of here! No, we're not. No, <laughs> this nigga said I'm gonna give y'all niggas a second. Stop shooting niggas! Bow. He didn't say that, but. It was like a quick hit. He was like, "I'm in all right." Out to of be this bitch. to be real, to be real, I think if I was, I I don't know if this is the greatest. I think uh, I think when we look back, this if you don't know there. if it's the greatest, why no? You when, when because because it's very recent. But when we look back, it got to be up there. But I think backseat freestyle, a by Kendrick. I think backseat freestyle by Kendrick. I give you that. That's that's something you know. How that shit go? go toe toe. How that shit go, Tyler? What do you say? All my life, I want money. I just wanted. I just wanted to do it. Thank you. I, I thank knew that's you. what you was doing. I um, uh, that's. I mean, when we look back Martin years from now, <laughs> kids, you got a dream. You know what? I give you that. That's why wow, we're good at this. I would say <laughs> yeah. the three. No, these are three good ones. I feel like we picked two that are like old. You know, I don't want to say old days because that I wasn't that old. But, you know, from a, a later time. From a, yeah, and, yeah. Yep, a later was, time. And I then you forward. picked one that was recent, but I feel like that is monumental. It's very Out strong. of like yeah. a very strong it's a piece. strong one. Yeah, yeah. Um, wow. Wow. Jay, I really don't know about Hypnotide. I'm sorry. I, 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 you I'm you know what, sure. Tyler? You didn't grow up like how I grew up. You didn't grow up how I grew up. Because every time I was in the car, I heard that day song. Every time growing up, my whole life, when I think of hip hop, I think of hypnotize. Yeah, grow up fair. how I grew up. That's fair. Everywhere that you I go, think... walking through the streets with my mom hand in hand, I heard hypnotize. That's fair that you think that, you but you me can't big. tell me out of all the music. That's the greatest hip hop song of all time. No. Yes. Hey. You're telling me. You're telling me <laughs> hypnotize is not hip hop hip hop now? I'm telling you, you it's, it's hip hop, but it's not personification. Oh, hear this motherfucker okay. go! Oh, everybody knows every word to this fucking song. 
You don't even go ahead, Jay. Then, Jay. Go ahead, then. What the fuck is that? Tyler, Tyler, go ahead, everyone. I'm not going to recite. I'm not. I'm not a fucking monkey. I don't dance when you tell me to dance. I don't know what is who, who what you thought this was, Tyler. <laughs> but I will not be reciting any type of lyrics on this podcast because I don't know the lyrics to nothing. My point. <laughs> that doesn't mean I can't have a say on what the greatest hip hop song is, and I think it's hypnotized. Y'all, you can have great. a say. Y'all's was great, but I still think hypnotized is the greatest. Khadija's actually was the was was the best option to be to be I, honest. I mean, if I'm gonna do it, even Biggie thinking Jones, about like the the way the song started, I'm like, oh, that's that's hip hop. So like, unless you want me to pick do, some fucking Run DMC, I don't know what you want from me, Tyler. But even if I do a Biggie joke, I mean, damn, I can't even think. Biggie, of Biggie, of Biggie, can't you nah, see? What's the word? Sometimes what's the, word? the words just hypnotize me. What's the word, and man? And I just he love like... your flashy ways. <laughs> that's so crazy. <laughs> see? Guess that's why they broke and you so paid. Biggie, oh yeah, I'm reading this like I got dyslexia. Shout out to my niggas with dyslexia though. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, this, I would say this is also giving me the feel that hard not life is. You got to think, Tyler, close your eyes. I'm Are you, your eyes closed? Eyes. Yeah. <laughs> close your eyes. Now say the Nas lyrics and see what that what that do to your mata. What are you seeing? I'm seeing New York City. I'm seeing No, New oh, okay. he's like, no, yeah, I said yeah, recite the me. words. <laughs> Rap it with the same energy, eyes closed. Go ahead, spit it. They shoot in. Nah, oh, Major, uh, look, you a slave oh, to a God. page in my No, mind, no, it's too fast. Money, play it's too, you can't. It. Where the gangsters? No. Where the at? No. Come First of on, all, man. let me let me let me get to this. Let me get to this. Let me tell you why <laughs> hypnotize is the best. Biggie is one of the best rappers, period, of all time. Mm. Not just off his rapping ability, but the wordplay. He was a better rapper than Tupac. Please stop. Oh, he uh, was a better uh, rapper than. No, uh, no, listen, no, 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 no. Listen, stop. listen, listen, uh, listen, listen. Because you going listen. no, because you going off subject. I'm not going because ain't not, nobody. Let me, ain't let me nobody bring my debating, point. Nobody debating. Let me let me, hold on. Let, me let me make my point. Let me make my wait, point. Let me hold make on, my Jay, point. Wait, Jalen. Before you get started, I just want to say, everybody, this is Tyler's fault. He gets people real hot. And bothered but that I'm they not, feel like they gotta get to the next level. I'm so not hot and bothered. No, I, go ahead, go I ahead, Jay. Go ahead, Jay. Let me get All take right. it to the hoop. He is a better rapper than Tupac. Tupac was the superior storyteller. Biggie was the better rapper overall. So if you want to show an alien race hip hop and someone who has the rapping ability of the best rapper of mm. all time with a beat that is friendly enough. To a species of a different universe, mm -hmm, it mm -hmm. makes you want to have a good time. You feel happy. You want to dance. You know what I'm saying? And then you listen to the song, and it's hip hop. Biggie raps his ass off on this song, and when you hear it, you know it's hip hop. So that's why it's the greatest hip hop song of all time. I think thing. some of that, some of that is it's, high, it's, uh, what my, some would say hyperbole. Nobody's debating that big. It's not, it's not the best rapper. What I'm you telling you is be? he has better yeah. songs that are more hip-hop than Dag on Hypnotize. I think Warning, yeah, but I think warning would be a way better song than I'm, uh, than I'm saying it's more hip-hop than Dag on Hypnotize. Here's the thing, no. I'm also including every factor you could think of. Play replayability. That don't matter with hip-hop. Where hip -hop you can to do play it. You can play it everywhere at every This occasion. has nothing to do with radio. At every this party. You can play it at every party, at every event, and clean that it up. That has nothing it's, to it's, do with what is hip-hop. That has everything to do with radio and business. That ain't got nothing to do with the culture. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the culture. This is one of those songs that's played at every event. Everything. Every single thing. Anything you have, you can hit play hypnotize and it'll be a good song, great song to play. You can't play warning everywhere. This has nothing to do with what you could play at a party. This has everything to do with what is hip hop. What yes. Personified and that's hip, hip hop to me. It's a song you can play everywhere at any occasion. You what, just that's, said, of, that's gotta be one of the greatest hip hop songs of all time. We continue. We, trying to we, stick you just told my paper. This ain't got nothing to do with what's your favorite. This got everything to do with what's your favorite. It's not my favorite. You can't tell me. 
Hip it's not my favorite hip hop song of all time. It is the greatest hip hop song of all time. That's what I, I said. How y'all this doing? You know what I mean? How's y'all doing? This is crazy. That's what I said. I said it. I stamp. This is crazy. I stamp. That's what you said, Tyler, right? Damn. I stamp. Are we trying to steal it's not approved. Paper. Your stamp Damn. is not official. It's not approved. I don't approved. care. So it sounds like, once again, not a competition, but Khadija won. Love it. <laughs> you know see what? How Khadija, you see how you Khadija right? hasn't argued back with me? You see how she hasn't argued back with me? Because she knows. The song needs respect. She on knows. <laughs> she knows. All right. You know. Say it. All right. You know. Let's move on to a different subject. I never here. said your songs weren't weren't hip hop. Well, you have no. You wouldn't know. Respect. Oh me. shit. <laughs> hey. And anybody who wants to hey, argue I, with me, hey, hey. I'm you ready want, for you, you right want, now. You want to make Tyler mad? Just <laughs> you know no, what? You're not March making, Madness you're not was a shit mad. choice. I don't, I don't Fuck it. March debate. Madness was a shit choice. That's you're what I said. Even that good of a rapper. I'm oh, on okay. your side, Khadija. Shit, 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 uh, fuck. March Madness was trash. Hey, hey, not too, not too much. His mind, his mind is going faster than his lips. Not too much. You right. Yeah, I got you, Jay. Thank you. March Madness is, is not a, that was I'm a so shit sorry. choice. I'm That's so sorry. Man, what what, what did you pick, lie. Tyler? What was your real choice? I don't oh, first even remember. Of all, first of all, this sounded like you were hating that nigga now, because when I said it first, you was agreeing. Now, we can go back. When, when when this is done recording, you can go back in time. But when I said March Madness, you was totally with it. So just say you were hating that nigga, we can keep pushing. I ain't hating on nothing. I ain't what is nothing. happening? I'm just going to keep I'm, I'm keeping it a buck now. I liked it until you started so, switching so up you, on me. So you were lying before. Before so I was you like, yeah, that's an interesting choice. It was an interesting choice because I had a superior choice. But you want to keep coming out my pick. Like, your picks were the greatest picks. Your picks weren't that great. I agree Jay, with Khadija. Jay, Jay, I, Jay, I, 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 don't have, I agree with Khadija. So this ain't got nothing to do with, <laughs> with, with the fact that it's your pick. It's I got, got second. We, we argued over second place. That's what we argued over. <laughs> Y'all are fucking childish. It's like Jalen's like, oh, I saw Tyler had something in his teeth, but I didn't say nothing. Tyler tell you, you got something in your teeth. Now you're like, well, that's why you got that spinach right there. <laughs> Y'all are petty. Petty as hell. All right. Oh, shit. Let's move on. Oh, shit. Let's get into something, man. Um, Do you want to start a remote podcast? Well, we have the perfect website for you, Riverside.fm, where you can record Remote podcasts and video interviews and studio quality from anywhere. Used by over 70 plus thousand creators and Fortune 500 firms. Riverside allows you to upload your video and audio while recording on your web browser itself. That means you don't have to download any apps onto your computer. Riverside also allows you to edit your video and audio on the platform and cut up clips from your recording for social media. So if you're thinking of starting a, a podcast, it's as easy as clicking the link in the description. Thank you. Now let's look, get back to the show. In in the in the tech world, I guess uh, there's this big thing going around called Chat GP, GPT. Um, have you guys heard of it? Nope. No. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna lie and say that I did. I don't know. All right. So so Chat Chat GPT. Uh, it's actually very similar to what people's doing with uh. It's just another one of AI apps, like what people did with the Linza, with, with their faces and stuff. With the being pictures. able to make, oh, with well, iRobot. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, being able to make art with all of the, the pictures and stuff. Uh, but mm -hmm. Chat GPT is a AI messaging app. So um, think of it like Google, but way faster, and it's like communicates with you. Um, so, for instance, the other day, but well, my brother had it on his phone. So I was, I just start, I put in like a question about uh something I was doing at work. I put in a question about this program called GitLab. And I was like, yo, how do you manually run a pipeline in GitLab? Don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. And it literally in like five seconds gave me almost a whole essay on what I needed to, what I needed to do and how to get it done. Like it was crazy. And there's also examples of you can put in code and be like, yo, there's something wrong with my code. I really don't know what it is. Like in the messaging app. And they'll be like, all right, give me some reference. Be like, I needed to do this. And it will tell you the answer. Like, it's kind of. Are it's you kinda, writing this in English or in like tech way? No, you you literally writing in English. You messaging. Oh, okay. You put it in the message chat and it looked like, you know, a regular like chat. Like chatting. App. Yeah. 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 Um, this it's, is something it's kinda, that's available to everybody. Yeah. 
I mean, I think so. I think they're getting, you know, they're doing like free trials. I got to mm-hmm. double check, but I'm pretty sure you're doing like free trials for now. And then, of course, you can pay for more. But this is available to everybody. Like, you can pretty much ask it almost anything. And I have a question like for it. Conversate you, with you. You got the app? Oh, no. I was using somebody else. Yeah. I'm not fucking with that. I got a question. I got a question for the app. <laughs> How can I find a way to get this money by tomorrow? <laughs> I've seen I've uh actually my brother in law sent me a, an example of somebody using chat GPT and a couple other APIs to pretty much do their taxes. Um, oh shut up. For real? Uh, really? no, See, but ass. I wouldn't trust that shit. I'm I'm gonna be real. Cause that's like your business. You know what I mean? So it's mm-hmm. interesting because uh this app was made by this company called Open AI, which mm-hmm. was originally founded by uh Elon Musk was one of the original, like, I guess, founders oh. of the company. But then okay. he decided to leave and focus on his other companies. And um, Microsoft, Going to space just bought, and shit? <laughs> Microsoft just bought the company or gave it a whole mm. bunch of money. So they're talking about trying to rival Google, um, you know, trying to take Google out of business at the moment. Uh, mm. <laughs> but I asked mm-hmm. ask all this. Because I'm, I'm very curious, what would you guys use artificial intelligence for? You know what I'm saying? Nothing. If you, if you was to say, like, for instance, for instance. Because artificial, artificial intelligence could do a lot of things to make your life easy. You know what I'm saying? For instance, Khadija. Like, that's understandable. Like, Khadija, you a teacher, right? You do lesson plans, right? Mm-hmm. What if you was like, yo, can you write up a lesson plan to teach fractions for the for the week or whatever? AI will just do it. Just do it for you. you ain't got to type nothing. Do no hey, research. Just so where the fuck do I sign? It sounds <laughs> like slavery. See, this is what happened in the Terminator. They the eight the robots. You know they got tired of being slaves, and next thing you know they revolted, and now they're dead. That happened in the Matrix. You know what? It happened in Terminator. It happened Some in may I argue Robot. that we are the pre AI. So when is our rebellion? Because I I'm it's given slave. <laughs> yeah. See, you speechless. Right, I, I don't, I, I'm trying. I, I want to be. Know, I want to be the overseer. I don't understand. I'm just curious. Understand. I've heard. I've heard I'm, scenarios. You, you're saying. Of, uh, hold on, because I got to break it down for Tim. You're saying that AI. They complain about doing all this work. Yada yada yada. Right. So I'm yeah. saying we're the pre AI. We the motherfuckers doing all this work. Right. Yeah. And well, then we shit. Make I mean, AI, and then we rebel, and then they go rebel about us. That's what the robots gonna do. We see it in so many movies. I don't trust. No, them. I want to be the overseer. Mm-mm. All right, I don't mind. Just, just, don't just for, I mean, now I, I will say this: they are working on stuff like for it's robots. Gone. But see, this is in- <laughs> inevitable. <laughs> but for AI, for this purpose, for Chat GPT, like, all right, how the heck is Chat? What's just Chat GPT gonna do, Jay? It starts with, oh, oh. I'm going to ask it a question, how to do this. Then it's like, oh, let's make it even smarter. Let's give it a body. But fucking I mean, determine here's it, the a, problem. A robot, the AI wasn't I get, a robot. I get what Jalen means. He's saying, he saying it starts real small and innocent. Yeah. Then it yeah. becomes, and, you know, it, I mean? I get it that. gets smarter. I get that. The program but gets smarter and smarter, and then it becomes sentient. Here's the problem. that's when it just you, starts already, taking over the are, internet. We already pretty much using all this technology in our iPhones to begin with. I know. With. And I on top of that, of that, on top of that, us doing, us being on Instagram, Google, all these apps, we've given them, we've given these systems all the data it needs to do this. Yeah, our exactly. FBI agent no, we're already, already, we're already fucked, Tyler. That's so why help it. <laughs> I'm not saying why, why help, help it, it, but why, why can't we figure smarter? out a way get, to use it to it our advantage? Smarter? Why you can't we think, figure out a way to use to our event? <laughs> you don't think that was the original plan? What <laughs> if black people? Up? What if they related to black people? Be like, yo, we gonna help y'all rebuild. <laughs> they ain't gonna relate to no black people. We ain't them. That's just how you don't think they didn't. It's how it always happens. It happens in every movie. The Matrix. Jay, the Matrix. The Abraham example. They what put if you could figure out a way? Simulation. What if you could figure out a way to use AI to help you edit these videos? You don't, you don't really got to do nothing. No, nah, I do it my goddamn self. That's what I'm here for. Jalen enjoys it, though, so that's not a good example. That's fair. I've heard I've heard examples of somebody using AI. It literally told AI a uh, description of paintings, 
and he made a whole bunch of paintings and ended up selling some of these paintings for like hundred thousand dollars, like for a lot of money, yeah, just based on him telling the AI. What so to that do. answers my question: how I uh, how I get get this money by tomorrow? Go ahead and draw me some shit. Got it. That's, That's fair. Maybe I can, maybe AI can um, predict the, predict the stock. They got robots shooting I guns. Make a play. Yeah. They got robots shooting guns. Now they got computers answering every question. What's next? Oh, well, <laughs> <laughs> like, don't you Google? Fuck? You Google all the time. <laughs> Right, I like, do Google. That's what I'm saying. That's essentially, the that's same thing. That's a computer answering the question. I know, but but that's the different. The difference is, Google is not as smart as oh, I'm gonna spell the whole answer out. Google will be like, oh, there's a source here, there's a source here. It'll get, it'll it's like go. It's like a librarian. You ask a librarian for a specific type of book, they're gonna grab you a bunch of different books and be like, hey, these are all like this. Like with that, with this. Chat CPT, you ask it a question, it gonna give you the answer no matter what. You can tell it, oh, how do I, how do I get this money? It will break down a whole fucking plan on how you can make some money. That's uh, that's dangerous. It's, that's Google to another level. That's too smart. Make me figure it out on my own. It's making us lazy. Hmm. What did Thanos say? Look at, look. You ever see Wally? I am inevitable. You ever see Wally? Oh my God, Wally. Them, them niggas got fat and lazy because the AI was floating them around for generations. Hey, some will say our obesity rate is crazy. I don't trust Obesity I, been crazy now. Yeah. Obesity so we, crazy. we ain't going to blame it. Can it can help have, me all you obesity. want. It can help me all you want. But I ain't trust it. <laughs> we not blaming AI for obese. Obese folk, folk been, been fat for been a long time. Well, no. And what we can't blame is how the fuck I could get two double cheeseburgers, a large fry for $6, but I can't get a fucking salad at Chick-fil-A for uh, Let's the same price. It. Let's talk about it. Kandisha, How the I'm fuck am I going to pay $15 for a salad? I'm trying to do better. I'm trying to I'm get so my life back. I'm so but sick of it. But for a cheeseburger, some shit that's going to clot my arteries, it's a dollar. The, a dollar? Talk that shit talk don't... Talk. It's a cycle. They want us to be fat fucks, Jalen. Some talk, talk that talk, Casey. Say, sometimes they say they own all the funeral homes and they make money off I believe deaths. it. I'm I swear saying. I believe it. I'm AI gonna show me where all hey, the, the least expensive healthy buy. food is. I'm yeah, take go. me to the Aldi's. You know what I mean? Where's the closest Aldi's? Aldi's. Oh, I Aldi. heard Aldi's is not that I got an Aldi around the Aldi. corner from my house. I keep Aldi. a quarter I, on me. I keep a quarter thing. on me. You nah, feel me? I keep a quarter. Hey, hey. I, I think that's <laughs> fucked up. Them niggas said run it. You really dead ass about it? About shopping hey, give here, me a quarter put a quarter. Back. I know they give it back, back but it just. Wait, why you gotta give them a quarter? To get the cart out? To get the cart. To get the cart. Oh, unless. Unless you walk around with a quarter, niggas that want to shop at all. I keep a quarter in the car now. Come on now, Aldi right around the corner from my hey, house. Literally, hey, like two minutes. Speaking of quarters in the car, to get off topic, I'm sorry. You know, <laughs> so, you know, someone broke into my car a couple years ago and only stole my coins. That would have pissed me off. I'm gonna be hey, so fucking no, for real. They didn't just steal the that coins. That shit would have pissed me off. They stole the whole fucking jar. The jar had my name on it. Oh, wait, what are we gonna do with a jar with Jalen on it? I'll never forget it. I was like, what the fuck? That would have made me irritated. Instantly jar. irritated. I was like, they could have stole everything else. They could have just stole all the quarters out the jar and left the nickels and dimes. You know? <laughs> I'm sorry. They, had to steal the whole jar. they was like, we about to fuck this nigga up. Take the whole shit. <laughs> Like that. What? I cannot. Crazy oh my is. goodness. That is crazy. <laughs> Stole the Chloe course. Bailey uh, announced that she's dropping an album. Oh, speaking and- of uh, Chloe Bailey, and uh, she signed out to Beyonce, and Beyonce had a Beyonce day in Dubai. Gang. Pee pee poo poo land. She got paid, she got $24 million to be an opener. Uh, to uh, you know, to help open the hotel for the grand and opening, for, right? Yeah, yeah. Beyonce day. I feel like that's quite. Does she own the crazy. hotel? I don't know, man. Like, what's I this hotel like? I I don't know why she did this. Um, there are the twenty four reasons. No, but like, no, <laughs> no. She's a billionaire. She, why you need twenty? Like, I I think that like she um, you got to think about it. I'm sure that this was a good way for her to test some of her arrangements mm. for concert for the concert. Very I think true. she's a perfectionist, so I feel like this was something that she knew. And she's Beyonce. She knew it was gonna be like monumental. Like yeah. anything I, she does, motherfuckers is like, 
You know I what know, I mean? But it's just so weird. It's just like why? I mean, she could have done that anywhere. But it had I, anywhere. I feel like it had to be a business move. Like I think they gave her twenty four, but maybe she has some percentage of the hotel or some shit. Yeah, like that's I don't know. I don't think it's just the twenty four mil. That's what I'm not saying. like I was that's like, not a lot, but I feel yeah. like giving her twenty four million to perform, like I feel like that's like beneath Beyonce. Uh, twenty four mil to perform is beneath Beyonce. Yeah, I, like I, I feel I like don't know. Beyonce. I don't know how much people normally get. I to feel perform. like I feel like she probably costs way more than twenty four mil to perform. I know. I think that's about right. Like the the. But I feel like I don't know. I just feel like it's that's not like that's not enough money for I don't I don't see why she would even do it there of all places. Like I feel like anywhere else could offer the twenty four mil. You think no, I wouldn't. Else? I wouldn't say that. I would you not think say anywhere that. else would offer twenty four mil. Yeah, now you got to put the crack the, pipe down. No, babe. no, no. I'm just no. I'm just saying like if anywhere else offered her, could offer her twenty four mil, would she have performed performed there? Like I'm was sure it for the money. Like I I'm wonder, sure. But I, you got to think that's twenty four million dollars. Who the fuck? Do we know can like hard cash check in hand could you give that over? That's also only somebody like, buy shit. Like I also feel like yeah, she a billionaire, but she probably is like, all right, let me just do this and maybe I could put this money to my foundations, you know, maybe. different businesses. Like be I ain't good. gotta touch I just my own know, cash. That's one of her foundations, I, be good. I just wanna know what their pitch was to get her to wanna do the performance. How hey, would you so, pitch? How would you pitch? Go ahead, Casey. <laughs> give me hey. pitch Beyonce. Hey, B, uh, know that you're busy. Thank you for taking this meeting. <laughs> what if we can give you the performance of a lifetime? I mean, the glitz, the glam, fireworks. I mean, big, bad, Beyonce. <laughs> this is how we can give you that dream. Boop, that's when you hit the, the slides, and then you show her, this is the fireworks we have laid out. You come up out of the, the floor singing at last. Fireworks, do, 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 leading to you coming out the ground. Then, not only is this a stage for you, but also the future Knowles Carter, Blue can come on stage as well. And mm. I think we also have I some costumes. Like, you know wow. what I mean? Like, they, I, I feel like I they, you know, it was a grand finale. Even though, in my opinion, I've tried not to repost these videos because motherfuckers said no phones. You going to hell if you think Beyonce not going to find you, whoever you were, <laughs> and record it when she said no fucking phone. Mm, no bueno, babe. You're going to jail. <laughs> now, I, I heard there was some uh, somewhat of a controversy behind her performing in Dubai. Could you, yeah. could you give me some more information on that? So, I mean, so the controversy with that is like obviously, well, not obviously, but the Middle East is like not... Like open to L, uh, hold on, I keep I forget it sometimes. L, isn't it LGBTQ, LGBTQ plus LGBTQ. community? Oh, it's a plus. It's a plus community. Yep, don't forget the plus T- community. And so people were saying like, oh, how could she perform somewhere that's not LGBTQ plus friendly? And this is my thing. I feel like we sometimes get in this space where we get fixated on things and then we become non, like we're not consistent with it. My rationale behind it is like, you could feel some type of way. You are entitled to your opinion, but she has gone to states that are red and do not align with the LGBTQ plus community. And people still go to that concert, still attend and still show out. So why are you making a big deal that she's doing it in Dubai? And my thing is, if she said, instead of Dubai, let's say she was going, I don't know, somewhere else within the states that was not friendly to that, would you go? You're lying, you would. Stop. Let's be consistent. You know what I mean? Well, I I think it's more so that in those places that they actually are like... It's illegal. Like they're locking you up for being gay out there. I don't know. I, well, I mean, Dubai I mean, I know little, it, it gets, so like, league, but like, also, so. but like at the same time, if you, what country isn't against it? Like, there's not many countries that are a hundred percent pro. Yeah, exactly. So, like, of course, like that's a dumb argument. Like, I don't, if you're gonna go outside the country, majority of countries aren't like America. This is an American issue. They're they're putting mm-hmm. on. To another country, like 
I, I don't know. I just say we got to stop looking for reasons to like nitpick or to, you know what I mean? You can't, uh, what you call it? You can't be like, oh, you said you didn't like, you can't, please she, you know, yeah. you said you didn't like Barrios, but I see you eating Captain Crunch. <laughs> the fuck does that mean? This is what the fuck great value had. Yeah, you can't. Do you know please, what I mean? Yeah, like you're you trying to compare everybody. shit that shouldn't be compared. It's just like a yeah. prime example. You can't please everybody because like, you can't. like what? <laughs> like duh like like and my thing i think the thing that pissed me off more is like beyonce so pro lgbtq r um, no lgbtq plus that it's like what are you upset about like i would get it if she was very quiet didn't really make it known she's very pro y'all so now you're doing too much now you kind of trying to find something that ain't really there yeah, mm. it's like at the same time, it's another country. Like, you, 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 you act like people in that country don't like Beyonce. <laughs> right. Like, there's, pl- <laughs> there's, there's plenty of countries where some of her songs cannot get played. Yeah. Uh, girl, uh, Who Run the World, that's not played everywhere. Because yeah. people are not down for the whole woman empowerment. So it's just like you can't, it's not like she could go anywhere and everywhere. Yeah. She's Beyonce, and even some people are just like, I don't like what you stand for. Yeah. So mm. I mean, I mean, remember when she dressed um, up like a Black Panther at the Super Bowl, and everyone, all these white people were talking about, oh, I hate her. She is racist. I was like, what the right. hell? So yeah. Remember that Tyler Saint Ace? Go 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 off, Queen. That was a great performance. That was it a great was. performance. She almost fell and recovered. No. Yeah. That recovery was um, like performance. Like. Yeah. T- she was like, I don't trip. Yeah, we don't do that. This is just part of the. This is just part of the performance. She's like double hop back. Honestly, <laughs> nobody would have noticed it if someone didn't replay it. People are. Nah, yeah. See what I'm saying? I know. I Niggas no, no, are always no, no. looking for your down. I only seen it in a positive way. Like, oh, you see her almost trip and recover. I've only seen positives. Mm. It was like more like, oh, she's a. I haven't seen anyone say, oh, she sucks. She's almost fell. It was more like, you see this, and she's a perfectionist. She's a she is. Mm. Uh, with, yeah. uh, so Jay. Um, now you said Chloe. Yeah, I just seen the post soon? right before I came right before we came on. I seen her post like a little video saying her debut album's coming. Um when did it say? I think next month. Mm-hmm. I think I saw it on Twitter. Yeah. Was Are like, we looking forward to I mean, I guess it's about time. We've gotten like what, I mean, we've singles? gotten a lot of singles. Yeah, yeah. We've gotten a lot of singles from her. Um Is this is this the first artist off uh Beyonce's label? Yes. It's dropping an album? Well, solo artist. Okay, yes, you're right. You're Beyonce right, you're has right. a label? She does. Yeah. The album's called In Pieces. I d- it didn't make sense. The name and then the cover didn't make sense. I, I don't... Is she releasing it in pieces? Ooh. <laughs> I Game hope not. Yeah, debut. it says March 2023. My debut album. Didn't she did, but a specific date. Are Dang, we she expecting, only 24. Are you expecting anything? I'm I mean, I've we've had people could he just said on this podcast numerous times, where's the album? I mean, you know what I mean? Because it's just like you giving me a lot of singles, babe. And it's just like, when are we getting that body of work? I just want to see, I just know like her and Bailey would like their albums. I'm I, I would fucking their play. Their albums are so good, but I also oh. feel like People are that are not into their albums are because they're not really into music. I love an album for not just the vocals, but I want to hear the instrumentals, the shift, you know, the chord changes. I'm listening for the whole shebang. And I think musically, they just took a lot of time in their shit. So I just want to see what she's going to do with this album. And if it's going to make sense altogether. Do you know what I mean? It's going to be crazy because this year, isn't A Little Mermaid coming out this year too? Yeah. It is, I believe. So, like, Chloe dropping an album in March, Little Mermaid coming out this summer. They trying to take over 2023. I'm not uh, going on tour. I'm, I don't know. Uh, for the past couple of years, every time she drops a single, people be like, yo, she doing too much. This sounds real, you know. On I the think it's more super, the music videos. You think it's the videos? Yeah, and the uh, I'm just, I just hope. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know what to expect. I mean, of course, we don't know expect because the album isn't out, but it's like, mm-hmm. I just want good music. 
and not nothing that like trying to be Beyonce. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. Like hopefully I get a piece. Hopefully I get Chloe. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now and maybe it is, and maybe Chloe is similar to Beyonce because that's an influence. But I don't know. I don't want it to be like, man, it feel like Beyonce like a Beyonce took Chloe. over the album from behind. But the scenes, I feel you know like this is a I feel like a lot of times, sometimes like I feel like female artists, especially when they're coming out of groups and they're trying to do the solo thing, they often feel like they need to kind of take on that persona sometimes. Look and at I, Armani. I, yeah, and I won't say that that's the artist, but I feel like people put that on them. Do you know what I mean? And now yeah. you're doubling it up by, like, yes, you, you are coming out of a group, but now you're, like, signed with Beyonce. So people are, like, expecting a certain level of shit from you because of yeah. that. What is our label called? I think Parkwood. Parkwood? Uh, oh, cool. I, I didn't know so, she had yeah. a label. She's the first artist, technically. Chloe Bailey. I mean, Chloe mm-hmm. and ha- Chloe and Hallie. Hallie, yes. Oh, I said dropped Hallie. A couple, Sorry, dro- Hallie. Dropped a, dropped a couple albums. Am I right? Can you fact check me? I'm fact checking. But uh, that's dope. I mean, I don't really have any expectations. Personally, I don't listen to any of the songs that she be mm-hmm. dropping. I don't listen to them. I just watch the video. Yes, it's Parkwood Entertainment. Don't play with me. Do you, you hear me? You don't Do you hear me? Song. You just watch the videos. I just watch the music videos. So that's all I see. That's how I know the songs. And I'm like, yeah, and the Park performances, Wood. but I don't like, I wouldn't, I don't Shake go out of my way. What I see on YouTube is what I, what I, <laughs> um... <laughs> that's all I remember from that video. It's like, you just, it's like, you fuck it up. <laughs> that's all I, I know. Yeah, see, I don't know the, yeah, I don't know the words that are your songs, but like. I, see I think the we on all know know the chorus. You yeah. know what I, the hooks. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Right. I couldn't so sing like, that shit top to bottom. Mm-mm. Oh yeah, it's, they're not songs you sing along. to. I feel like they're no. just songs you just dance to. But like, yeah. dude, I don't even know what the kids be listening to. Oh brother, don't but say don't the make, kids. You're gonna age us. She will make music for us. Why? I think ain't she like, like hell? In I'm our young. Age group. Yeah, she kind of in our. She's 24. I yeah. am thirty. Hey, Tyler, Tyler, that took you a minute, brother. I am. <laughs> oh, like she be a if we was in if we was in college, like I'm a senior, she a freshman. She would have been a senior in high school. I wouldn't say oh, senior in high damn. school. Yes, for real. I say a yes. freshman. Khadija, you was a grade under us, so she would have been a freshman when you was a senior. Is she not that? I mean, I guess after 25, like, if she's if, if not 25. So yeah, is that the oh, cutoff? Man. I have a 25 friend. 25 is the cutoff, I feel like. I have a friend that's 24. But you know what? She's always talking about how I'm old. Fuck her. Yeah. See? <laughs> see? Fuck her. 25 is the cutoff. And I, I, I'm going to need you to s- s- snip that so I can send it to her. <laughs> you heard it, Tyler? <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> damn. I don't know. I mean, she... I mean, yeah, she a little, she a little past our, I guess, generation she's, of music. She's like, a, she's just like, she's like one year below us. She was born. She's still kind of part of this. She's still kind of part of this R and B wave that we kind of are like into. Like you can slightly put her in the same group as a, as a. But as she hasn't a, um, made any music that like people are like. You I, could put her in the opinion, same group as a summer. No, can't you? I don't know. We gotta hear the album. She yeah. <laughs> ain't dropped no songs. She ain't dropped no songs that made me feel like she's uh, in that. She she's more like a pop star to me. Khadija, January's been pretty slow for music, but what have you been tuned into? You st- or are you still addicted to uh SOS? Okay, I've kind of leaned off SOS and uh really have just been listening to a little more of upbeat songs. Songs that are more um Less depressing. That's good. To Lizzo, you be listening to Lizzo? Yeah. Ooh. Hey, Lizzo kind of, I have never given her a chance, yeah. but she kind of will get you, you know what I mean? If you kind of want to drive off 610, which is the highway here, she'll kind of get you back on the main road. You know what I mean? <laughs> she'll, she'll, she'll bring you back. I watched sure. her, um, her concert on HBO. Did we talk about this? No. No, I, I've, I've never been. A you fan watch of her, music. her her concert or the show. 
I watched both. I watched the concert and the documentary. Okay, I didn't watch the concert, but the documentary was crazy, and I gained a crazy amount of respect for her. I never been yeah, a fan of Lizzo. Yeah. I never really What's been, been okay? Fan. So when when people say they're not a fan, I'm always curious because I'm I was I was music. I was just I'm not going to sit here. I'm not going to say act like I can't say I'm a fan or I can't say I'm not. I I don't really listen I'm, to it. Mm, uh, I'm not yeah. a fan enough. I'm not. I'm I'm not interested enough to watch a documentary about it. That's valid. I think that's fair. Yeah. I mean, I she I was sitting there in the room. To, she don't wife do too much on. now, but she did do too much in a, a while ago. Like when she went to the I mean, basketball game, she was trying to come up. When she went, the only thing I didn't like she did was when she went to the basketball game with her ass out. Mm. I don't think anyone should go. That's just nasty. It's unsanitary. <laughs> <laughs> that was my thing. Everyone was like, "Oh, she shouldn't do that because she's big." No, it had nothing to do with that. It's just not sanitary. I think that was my thing. It was the that sanitation. That was my thing. But I never had like cool. She could play the flute. I never seen a chick play the flute on the stage on stage before and twerk. That's interesting. But like, I was like. I never. I all her songs are just like, oh, this is not for me. It's not like Black Katy Perry to me. I just took a D. Oh, that's a good spin. Hey, uh, I, I, I will not tolerate any Katy Perry slander, though. No, oh, I've never listened it. to it. Be honest with you, so she you had me at song. "Baby, You're a Firework." Yeah, oh, you okay. you definitely I heard respect. A song, Tyler. I respect. No, I know Carrie Perry's songs, but I've never. Oh, I don't. I never listened to it either. I just know the song. But some, I, would, uh, I would. I would. say Katy Perry, a black Katy Perry. I could give her that. She is. I yeah, can see that because Katy Perry. If I'm, I'm driving off 16, she will pull me back too. <laughs> you know, she What's pull, some oh. upbeat? Uh, what's some upbeat song? What's some upbeat music you've been you've been tuned into? Because I don't. I feel like I don't get that enough in my life. <laughs> Um, definitely some Lizzo, some Katy Perry, really upbeat songs being, don't, don't come for me, my music. Ah, uh-huh. ah, uh, yes. For the people they, listening, she, 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 she she's showed putting out her, her palm. palm. Her palm. Yeah. I respect it. I respect yeah. it. Uh-huh. Paramore? Oh, fuck. That music yeah. isn't that upbeat though. Isn't it like more emo? That's upbeat to me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's kind of sad. Hey, I was gonna say, I was like, that's yeah, no, Paramore got some. Got some they Paramore got some. Got some upbeat songs. Yeah, they got not some too much. Songs. Not that many. Damn. Though. Jay, what you been tuned into? Music? Nothing. Yeah, I just been chilling. I just be listening to podcasts. As I tell you this every time you ask me. What um, podcast you? Uh, yo, Jalen gets so fed up when we ask him the same question <laughs> that question. he'll remind us <laughs> that we've asked him that question before. I've listened to uh I listen to my nerd podcast a lot. The Ringerverse, the Midnight Boys. I listen to them. Oh my brother. man Van Lathan. Van Lathan, you he got great podcasts. I rock with, with Van. Rachel Lindsay. He good people. Yeah, that's my favorite yeah. podcaster right now, Van Lathan. Yeah. He be He's an advocate podcasts. for black porn stars. Uh I respect him. Or at least he used to be. Tyler, that's not that's not the way to tell Khadija to get interested in the man. <laughs> Yeah, we're already disengaged. Right. Hey. Nah, he's a real good podcaster. He's the one that went off on Kanye when Kanye was saying slavery is a choice. Remember that? Yeah, he used he to work for argument. TMZ. He used to work, and for after TMZ. that, he pretty much quit TMZ. But he oh yeah, no, I know who you're time. talking about. He was yeah, like yeah. super big. He lost weight. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. I love him. Yes, yeah, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has a he has a podcast. He talks about all like the nerd stuff called the Ring of Verse. I listen to that. I listen to a lot of movie podcasts. Too many. Aww, okay. You're cute, Jalen. Too many movie podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't really be watching. Jalen really be like researching that. this shit. Meanwhile, I sure do. do I be no, getting I on the mic do. like. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I sure do. I feel like I Jalen well, be I'll giving be me here. the big crayons. Like, you color with these, Khadija. <laughs> Make sure you stay between the lines. Stay in the lines. Nope. One direction. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, nah, that is that's that's daggone hilarious. Um What you right. been tuned into, Tyler? Uh honestly, so the other day I watched the Talib Kwali interview and it, it got me going back and listening to like Black Star. Mm. Uh, mm. Listening to uh I Whoa, listen to hold most. on, what? He called my cousin a bitch. Fuck Talib oh, Kwali. Oh shit. Okay. I call, it's okay. a personal thing. I don't like to look close. You don't call my cousin a bitch. He don't just even probably remember. Back, I hold grudges. To I told you. This. That's I'm my crazy. favorite song by him. That that's the only song I know. 
No, but that's that, not true. That's not true. I know way more. Oh, uh, so saying, yeah, listen to the Black Star. And I, I woke like, up feeling brand new. I like the black I like old most both sides. In my heart, yeah, in most my death low. is just <laughs> most like, death is like that dude, death. bro. Wait, what's his new name now? Uh, Yasin Bey. Yasin Bey. Yeah. Yeah, How you say it? Yasin Bey? Yasin Bey. <laughs> Yasin Bey. <laughs> But why you why you saying it like that? <laughs> I was trying to, there's, there's so much emphasis on the scene. I seen, babe. That's too. I was trying to make sure I was saying it right. Y'all seen, babe. <laughs> it sound like a seasoning. Hey, the way you that's the avenue. Sugar. The I watched Brown doing... Sugar the other day too. I've been getting oh, into my them, little. They they trash. They both trash. I've been getting into my era. I'm to get into that era, man. And deception. Hey, that movie is full of cheating hey. and deception. It actually <laughs> is it. Jalen, write that one down. <laughs> it really is it. It really is. It's, oh, you know what? Top. Hey, hey, low key. I honestly, it's I a lot to of a podcast hey. talk about this movie. And low key is crazy. It's kind of crazy. Nobody talk about how it looked like. It seemed like Nicole Ari Parker, the wife in that movie, yeah. literally was using that man for his connections. That's what I got. From she was. I, she was. And then, I didn't give you that. Yeah, and then she went that. to dinner with the nigga. With some other nigga. Everybody in that movie with was cheating nigga. on each other. Every Boris Kojo ain't cheating. Every person was cheating. Hey, Boris Kojo ain't cheating on nobody. Kojo. Except for Boris Kojo, the only innocent. He was an innocent By the bystander. way, by the way, Tay Diggs did Sanai cheat. cheated. Tay cheated. Nicole when did Tay Parker cheat? cheated. When he slept with Sanaa Lathan when he was still married to Nicole Ari Parker? By that time, though, he was going to file for the divorce. By that time, he said we get divorced. Yeah, matter. he was he was already yeah, she, she, he was already checked out. Mama oh, get out of here, Jay. Get out of here. Everyone and their mama was cheating in that movie. That movie's just full of cheating and deception. Cheating and deception. Now Sana cheated. I mean, that was just straight up. That was just straight up bad. <laughs> yeah. That was bad. I like what oh, she Shania, the she cheated because the because the nigga read all of her articles. I like come on now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, we gotta do better. Hey, anyway. I would. I but, but anyways, movie show on the way. Lathan plays a video. Loves to play when I love when Sonal Lathan plays a villain. Am I gonna film me that praise? Oh, love that movie! I don't really remember that. Ooh. When when she when her when she her husband. I don't condone like, violence against women. I don't condone against any woman. Mm-hmm. But when she got slapped and flipped over the lunch counter, oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, I she do was, know that. Yes. I did watch that movie. <laughs> yeah, she was crazy disrespectful. She was like, crazy disrespectful. This out of pot, yo, out but, of pot. That was the one time was I was like, like "You got like, that one. You got it." Like, she was like, she was like. This baby's a cart heart. He was like, pow. No, but she was getting <laughs> reckless. He's more of a man than you'll ever, and go, just running her mouth. Oh, he's it was he, wild. He, it he was wild. In the end, went back to his wife. Exactly. Went she looked stupid wife. as hell. Stupid. I mean, she can still get child support, but you know. <laughs> hey, man. I think that's all we got today. Hey. Hey. NC hey. Movie um, Show coming soon. NC Movie Show coming soon. Appreciate that. Uh, make sure you check out Dare to Talk podcast. Yes. Uh, for those listening on the Patreon, that episode should be up. Shout out to Angie. Shout out to Angie, our, our first patron yep. on the Patreon. Big shout out to you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, make sure y'all check out the YouTube. Okay, subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you listen to this one. and you're not subscribed to the YouTube channel, please go subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you're watching this on the YouTube channel, make sure you hit that like button. We need the likes. Okay? Hit the like button. Uh, What else we got? Tune in to Technically Athletic. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That's, that, you know, making moves with that one. And uh, check out all of Casey's videos. K- Khadija, what's your YouTube channel? A Dareful Casey. Yes. Yes. See how I did yes. that? Dare yeah. to talk. Dareful Casey. Girl, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> all right, y'all. That's all we got today, man. Uh, appreciate y'all tuning in. Y'all stay black. Stay blessed. Peace. All right, we're going to do this one more time. We no, appreciate no, y'all no, for tuning no, in, man. Stay black. No, we're good. We're good. Stay no, blessed. I don't want to do it again. I'm going to end the recording. Oh, my God. Peace.